Hi everybody, it's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. We're doing a video tour here today of 1122 Bardo, B-A-R-D-O, Bardo Avenue, Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania. I'm with Josh Boob, my son here. Josh, wanna oh, say hi yeah, I better say hello. Hi everybody. That's Josh, so you got a boob big, number two. big set of boobs here doing a video tour for you. So a couple things here, the way Josh is facing now is Southern. That's actually called the Auchenball Gap. See where those mountains come together? Uh huh. That's the Auchenball Gap. Of course, to your left is the Jersey Shore Joint Water Authority. So, uh, I guess you know they got public water here, huh? And that's Josh's, uh, uh, that's your bre brewery. What's the brewery back here? You always like Bald. Are you can be Bald Birds bald, Brewery, bald the best birds. brewery in the I area. I just it really, oh it really is gosh. a good, uh, but that's. Love you, Bald Birds, if you're watching. Bald Birds, you're awesome. And that's that's what they added for Josh when he started attending. Oh, the, oh, I see what you're saying. That's my keg. That's, that's, that's my keg beer, there. Beer okay. there. And then, of course, now we're looking that way. We're looking west on Bardo Avenue. Now we're looking at Bald Birds. Bald Birds yeah. is oh, yeah, big blue building yeah. there. Oh, yeah, show them with your finger. I, I thought I thought you were just lost when you were pointing over there. I'm like, no, I'll correct them no, later. No, 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 but no, I see what your, you were saying. I'm that's so my sorry. keg. That's so sorry. That's uh, my keg, no, and the brewery's no, over that there. Came out poorly. That was my fault. That my does fault. make sense, yeah. though. They want me to drink the beer, but they're sick of me talking right. so much. They they want me to stay over here. Absolutely. Of course, keep scanning here for the people. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we're facing north, but this is the front of the 1122 Bardo Avenue. You know what, Josh? Let's walk here real quick, guys. I want to show you here. Of course, kind of an optical illusion. If you look at this house, it's not real wide, but it's really deep. So you'll see when we go inside, a lot more space than what you think. But this whole fence area, about a third acre. It's actually a little over a third acre. I think if I saw 0.37 for the acreage size. But there's a pin over here. Let's see, Josh. Um, I think the owner told me that little post right there, he believes is the corner pin. Of course, running all the way back to probably about where the head just stopped. That's, uh, if you'd want to know exactly for sure, always best to have a surveyor mark. But lots of space if you'd want to add an addition or who knows, maybe a garage right here beside your house or just who knows, or just maybe where the kids to play or I guess some bald birds when they're doing their cornhole, they could bring extra guys over here to play hey, cornhole. Bald birds back. loves their cornhole. <laughs> so we got um, uh, that's all part of Jersey Shore School District, which you'll see here. This is actually. Right here you can see the bleachers for the soccer field and stuff. This is one of the walk-in paths for the school district here that walks past. And then, uh, so of course, we'll take we'll take you guys inside. We'll show you the front porch. We don't really go in that way. It's got a little bit of brick here in the front, but you'll see the rest of the house has got the stucco on the exterior. Shingle roof. We found some paperwork inside. Boyer did this, I want to say it was 2004, but it's about 20-year-old roof. Um, this part of the roof above the breezeway was put on more recent. That's a flat roof. But you're going to see here, over there's uh, the Jersey Shore Cemetery. Because um, people are dying to move into the neighborhood. Huh? Oh oh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's really Jeez. bad. That's really bad then. Quiet neighbors. Yeah, they are quiet neighbors <laughs> then. Uh, hey, my dad's resting in peace over there, so I can make fun a little bit. But it's actually uh, really quiet. And, of course, now we're facing north. And then the back. Well, actually, just you know what? Keep showing you here. So looks like that was the original house. And at some point somebody added this garage. Of course, now you see it's just a one car garage, but I don't know if you guys can see this or not. You can see here, it used to be a larger two car garage, but somebody added this wall and they didn't do a very good job of it. So they must've went to Bob Boo Block School. Um, you can see it's pushing out a little bit, but this, you know, is what we have here now. Then we have a carport storage area right here. But Josh, it still goes all the way back to them hedges. Right where those hedges are, that's where Delaware Avenue is right there. And the deed says that it runs all the way to the, what they call the alley, but the alley would be called Delaware Avenue. So it's a really big yard. Well, yeah, come on in, Josh. Let's show them inside this wonderful house, 1122 Barrow Avenue. Um, I'm not sure with financing, Josh. I think if somebody would want to do a government back loan, I wouldn't say no. But be prepared to do a little bit of maybe work because you got some painting on the garage door you might have to do. And I don't know if they'd want this block painted. Um, if uh, we have a breaker box downstairs, but if there's any sort of goofy stuff from there, might need to be changed. Smoke detectors, you know, those sort of things like that. So if that's the way that you want to purchase a house, um, you know, talk to me or Josh. We can certainly guide you with that. Now... You know what, Josh, we'll just keep going this way. Garage first? Yeah, we'll go ahead and show them the garage since we're already here. So this is kind of a, a breezeway storage area. And guys, we do apologize. The owner apologizes. This is a family's house. Um, 
and uh, they're getting rid of all the stuff. They're doing the sale here with the personal stuff. So of course, all this would be gone. But Josh, you can show them there. There's a set of steps that go down in the basement. We go down in the basement. I'll show you where those come up. And then here's the inside of the garage that was showing you outside earlier. So this is really, really big. Seems like it was built well um, beyond that because this, this is a steel I beam that they have going across here. Then, but one of the thoughts was this could even be maybe converted to maybe a big master bedroom area, family room area. I think there's some things with this house that could be altered because you still got lots of room to add a garage somewhere else in this property. Any goodies here for sale, Josh, that we like? Yes, lots of like stuff to, here for sale. Like, like to purchase. Uh, well, there's all kind of cool stuff here, isn't there then? All right, so we'll continue on this wonderful video tour of 1122 Bardo Avenue, Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania, Border Township, Lycoming County, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. All right, so here we go. So right here's the laundry area, Josh. So first floor laundry. Has a lot of the knotty pine inside the house. It's almost more what I would call like a galley kitchen. It's very long, but not real super wide then. So lots of storage there. I'm not sure what was going on here. Maybe refrigerator probably was in here. and But it'd be good space to maybe, yeah, it must be because there's the line coming up. Oh, um, yeah, right here. here. And this is if you have Big things you want to haul around. Yeah, if or, you're really hungry yeah, and you're yeah. taking food from the kitchen. A absolutely. When you go to Bloodbirds, you can bring your beer out that you're taking with you for the for the road. There you go. Okay, so as we continue on here, uh, kitchen area. Now, the ki ki kitchen, easy for me to say, is interesting. It's got three windows in it. So here you have the northwest side, which is typically the dark side of a home. But because they have a lot of windows here, you get a lot more illumination. So I think that was probably thought out now <laughs> you'll see this is actually looking into the bathroom but it's not and i'll show you what i mean here in a minute <laughs> now remember how outside we said it's kind of an optical illusion look how long this is you could probably put an archery range or a bowling alley or something like that in here josh and that's a that's a nice fireplace now there is a table in front of the fireplace but when we took our still pictures we moved that out so there would be a nicer picture of the fireplace online then so what do you think? Probably where I'm standing was probably like the dining area, huh? Sure. And where yep. you're heading, that's probably all the living room area. Um, and again, has a lot of the knotty pine. <coughs> and of course, Josh, I'm going to point here. Hold this in your memory. I'm going to show you this spot in a different view here in a second. But of course, as Josh is standing, you can see how long this. But back in that far left corner is a building China cabin. That's why I'm thinking that was the dining area. Of course, where we're standing at now, big living room. Um... Big fireplace. There's the wood boxes there where you can you can put blankets or extra. Yeah, wood. and there's another one on the other side too. Nice. Kind of matching buildings. Now, this is of course that front porch. I think when the house was originally built, it was just an open porch. Hence, we have a window right here. Through the years, somebody enclosed this. I think with a little bit more effort, maybe some nicer windows here, it could even be used year round for somebody throwing a heating source. So. I, again, you see what I mean? It's a lot more house than what you think after you first drive by it. Um, okay, what else, Josh? I guess continue on here. Again, remember that spot over there. I'm going to show you that here in a second. You know what? Yeah, come on here, Josh. We'll show them here first. So, <coughs> there's the bathroom. But remember that window that I showed you in the kitchen? That's actually behind the shower, so you really can't look into the bathroom. I guess at one time you could have, you know. Or at least seeing that somebody was in there. So big shower, toilet sink. And Josh, I'll let you show them in here to the this bedroom here. So we got one of what we're going to call three-bedroom house. It's really a large two-bedroom or small three-bedroom, depending on how you would lay this out for your needs. It has that knotty pine. Some people like that look. Some people like to paint over it. Some people like to remove it and get rid of it. Um, but I guess that would be your choice if you buy this house. And then, you know what, we'll wait for the bedroom. Let's take them right down in the basement here. Show you down here in the dungeon. Remember when Josh was little, spent a lot of his time in the basements so that we would I deserve have it. been tied up. Just kidding, children. Yeah. I deserved it. Now, here, Josh, I'm six foot tall. So help, help me maybe about six, six? Yep. Six, about yep. six, six. So if you're a real tall guy, probably won't work. But this could actually maybe be finished off very primitively as a 
teenager area, or what's that man cave, estrogen cove, just different names given to it, because you do have a heat source here. Estrogen cove? That's a new one. I have not heard that cove. one. Yeah, that's for the ladies. That's a new one. I haven't heard that you one. You know, because we're very, you know, whatever friendly. I've heard friendly. like she shed, you know. She, she shed. Those, we got great. Right. You don't want to bring a whole shed down here, yeah. I guess, but you could. I just want to build it down here. And of course, we do have a window here. They just have it closed up with the insulation to help keep it warm. Um, as we continue on, more area here. And then Josh, I'll let you go in this room first. Here's where we have the furnace. It's an uh, it's an older oil boiler, but that's an Axman Anderson, which I believe they make out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. So I see a lot of those in the area, and they work really well if you keep them serviced. And um, of course, in the back corner to the right there, Josh, we won't walk all the way back, or maybe you can if you can get back in there. That's where the breaker box is at. You see that it's 100 amp service coming in there. Yeah, sorry, I don't have uh, <coughs> light to. Oh, that's okay. Well, I think your halo, you know, with you being so angelic, would be oh, just geez. enough light. But, uh, oh, maybe not. Now, of course, this is an old wood burner boiler or something. This is not hooked up. This does not work, or at least they don't think it works. Certainly, if you would want to get a pro to look at it, um, it could be a very inexpensive way to heat a home. But right now, we don't believe that that's properly functioning. And then, Josh, you can continue on to the dungeon room that you spent many years since your childhood in. Got two oil tanks in here. And uh, of course, again, that would be facing east. So that's the driveway side of the house where we parked in my super cool, awesome red Jeep there. I saw it earlier. Let's continue on. It, we're not done with the basement tour. There's a lot of basement here. But I'm wait, there's more. Gone. What's that? But wait, there's more. There's more, there's more. So here we have more basement. So there's an old sink, sub pump down there. Now, owner said the sub pump actually stays pretty dry. That's actually bone dry right now. Years ago, um, it would help keep water out of the basement, and then something changed that, <coughs> excuse me, they just didn't need to use it much anymore. So we don't know if something changed on the outside of the gutters and downspouts or whatever, but um, just to let you know. Let's see what else. Oh, uh, this is kind of funny. Oh, it's funny that I can't open the door. Uh, see that fancy lock there, Josh? There is a set of steps. Stairway to heaven. That goes Stairway nowhere. to heaven, yeah. or actually, they absolutely go nowhere because the addition is part right over the top nowhere. of that, I guess. That must be right oh. into a wall. Yeah, because that just goes nowhere. But we're being tricky there. But over here, now this door, Josh, I'll let you continue through. Brings you back, winds around, kind of like a root cellar area for storage of canned goods. But then look here, Josh. Uh -huh. There's the set of steps that go into, remember that garage breezeway area? You're welcome to show them up there. So for some reason, there if you go. did need to carry something from the basement out here through the garage door, you would be uh, you would be able to do that, that's for sure. Kind of an odd setup, but it's the setup that's here at this house. But lots of storage area in this, in this home. And let's see here. Okay, so I guess that's, that's that. I'll tell you what, of course, here's where the sewer line is stacked. Uh, it's coming through, so here would be, must be underneath the kitchen area here, huh, Josh? Yeah. Yes. This yep. would be where the sink and stuff would be, and somewhere over that direction would be the uh, washer dryer hookups in. But let's let's hit pause and let's let's take them up, show them the bedroom areas that we missed. Okay, we're back upstairs. So again, just kind of get your refresher memory. Josh, to the left, that's where the bathroom is. Bedroom number one that he showed you here just a few moments ago. This brings you into bedroom number two. So, I don't know, Josh, what would you say? Probably 12 by 12 by 12? I can yep. count these tiles here. These are all, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! Oh, wow. 14 foot. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, about 12. You didn't know you were going to count that high, did you? I'm impressed. So, as we continue on with this video tour at 1122 Bardo Avenue, okay, so here's a door that needs some help. This is that third bedroom area. And you can see it's got a beautiful brand new floor. No, just kidding, it's old time floor. Here's that window where we were out in the front porch. But remember when I showed you in the living room, there was like that space that was pointing at? Right here would be an easy spot to open up, put a doorway if you would wanna have a private entrance into here. Now sometimes people with kids or children you know, it's okay for them just to do it as a capture. But I wanted to show you, there's a couple different options with this house that you can do. I'm sorry, I'm in the way here. No, I was just gonna show that window. I didn't know if okay. I showed that. So, 
showed them the outside pretty good, the inside pretty good, talked to them about financing a little bit. If you have any other questions, maybe you have a house to sell, one of the questions you might have here, where do you come up with the money to do the fix-up work? There are different programs called renovation loans that you can use. Possibly if you own a house right now, you can use the equity and other property to fix this one up. Then after you get fixed up, you can you know reappraise it or refinance it. So there's different options. So I guess the point is, if you have any questions, you're just not sure how that, that work, get a hold of us, either Josh Boob or myself. Josh, what's your cell number? 570-772-4764. 4764. I'm sorry, he always has me blocked, so I never can remember that number then. But uh, uh, our number will probably be at the top or bottom here somewhere then. But I'm jo um, again, Josh Boob's dad, Bob Boob. We both work with Century 21 First Choice Realty. We had some fun with you. I hope you had a good time and enjoyed the video tour. You have a good day.